Go away. Please. Huh? Don't follow me around. Why not? Because I don't want you here when I'm filming. It's Talisha and today I am doing probably my most requested video ever which is a barn tour now I never did one of these when I was at super and stuff because there wasn't really much to show and it was very messy around there so as you guys know I'm moving very soon so I figured I'll do a barn tour of where Jeff is currently at because you guys haven't seen this place and then I'll do another barn tour when I move my camera's gonna die, great. So I'm gonna start this, and I might have to change over to my phone, but I'm sorry if I do, if the quality goes down, it's because my camera dies. <laughs> so the thing I'm gonna start with is obviously the driveway. Now, this is the driveway. Driveway goes all the way up here. There's ponds on either side, or dams, whatever you wanna call them. This is like an 80 acre property, I'm pretty sure. Now, this is where Jep used to be, but this paddock's resting now because she ate all the grass. It's probably about three quarters of an acre or something. So it's not that big. Now, we're going to start heading up the driveway. Um, Jep's paddock is the one just up there kind of thing. Now, the paddock on the right here, I mean the paddock, the shed, has a stable in it currently. I don't use it very often. Dad's going to see Jep up there. But there's a tack room in there, which I decided not to use. I used the other one over there. But here, it's just a bunch of trees and stuff at the moment. It's the, I know the property stuff. And I use some of these for my jumps and stuff. Then here is a stall. This stall is huge. It was used for when they, because they used to breed here, like the owners before, people who own it now, used to breed horses here. So I'll open this. It's currently got some sawdust in it because I used to use cross ties. There's a cross tie there. I used the cross ties for Jep when I used to tack her up because originally she used to move around quite a bit, which I'm going to take this off now because I don't use, I don't tack up in here anymore. Oh, that's giving her hay. Okay, good on you. I was going to do that, but thanks. Just trying to undo this, but yeah. So this stall is way bigger than normal stalls, stalls because they used to use it when they bred horses for the mum and the baby. So I've never actually kept Jep in it because we've never had enough sawdust and I don't really. And then at the top it's got a light, so yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for this stable. Now I'll go over here, if we'll focus. Um, there's dad's car over there. I'm just gonna put this lead rope. Um, now, this is where I normally tuck her up. Let me just chuck this lead rope. <laughs> um, this is where I normally tuck her up. I normally just tie her to that post there and she stands on the concrete here. And that's, and I'll take you in the tack room after. But first I'll take you back here. Here is the wash bay which hasn't been cleaned up and there's no point in me cleaning up because I'm not going to be here for much longer. But it's got, you put the hose through that and the middle thing moves around. It's got hot water and stuff, but it's winter now anyway, so I don't wash her in winter. So because that's all full, this is where I would normally wash her. I'd just tie her up to the fence there and the hose is there in the tap. So here used to be an arena before I came, <laughs> then like a small one, but it overgrew and they put pigs in there. So yeah. Um, here's the round pen. It's not the biggest round pen, but it's quite nice. Um, if you didn't know, I'm the only one that keeps my horse here. It's because it's my real estate agent's house, the person that sold our place, and he's like, hey, you can keep her here till you move. So, yeah. So this is the round pen, which you've probably seen some videos in here. So it's quite nice. I don't know how big it is, don't ask me. There's the back of that shed. Back here is the main paddock where I ride in. So this paddock is so big so it goes from over there then there's a little strip over there too they own all of this this is one big paddock there's some cattle yards there um then that is the rest of the paddock over there and where i also do my jumping which i'll take you guys in kind of i'm not gonna go right in but i'm going some of it so that's the rest of the paddock. As you can see, there's some poles and stuff there. That's where I normally do my jumping. Um, and I leave some of them out there. Not all of them, but some of them. So, 
I'll take you in the tack room after I take you to Jep. So here's the paddock Jep's currently in as dad. I leave a halter and lead out here all the time just so it's easy and in case I forget the key to the shed or anything you know I can just grab that and it's just ones I don't care about, old ones. Say hi dad. Hi dad. Oh my god. And up this driveway here is the house which I won't take you up there and behind it there's another huge paddock which I also ride in sometimes but I'm not bothered to walk up there. So here's Jep. She won't want me near her. She's grumpy because she's got her hay. And she's protective over her food. Yeah. She's got a nice maroon pinky rug on, whatever you want to say it is. Right. Sure, maroon. And then, so this paddock is goes from down here, and there's a the gate there, obviously, all the way up to the top up there. It's probably about three quarters of an acre or something. I'd say it's about three quarters of an acre. I'd say it's probably more than that. More? Maybe an acre? What do you think the one out the front is? I said three quarters of an acre for the one out the front. Yeah, maybe about that. I don't know. Probably maybe an acre. So now I'll take you back into the tack room, which is probably the most exciting part. So this is the shed. That's the door I just came in. I don't use any of that area, obviously. I just <laughs> took up a little corner because I don't take up that much space. Even though I do have a lot of stuff. So this is my little corner. And up there. So I'll start here. Here's real boring. I've taken everything here now. I used to have some stuff in my tack shed, but <coughs> like my tack shed at home, but now I've taken everything here just so it's easier when we move. So I have a pin board. I have like this uh, green tub which has some full size bridles and stuff in it and they're mouldy so and it has a martingale but they're mouldy and I haven't cleaned them so I didn't want them with my other stuff because yeah <laughs> here I have a rubbish bag here I have all my saddle pads so I have a lot of saddle pads that's not all of them either so I have some two handmade ones over there that my mum made a bunch of ones here I will do a saddle pad collection if you guys want one so I won't go through them too deeply now so this is just my extra saddle pads that don't have sets or anything and here are my three half pads, no my two half pads and then my riser, my front riser. Then here is where I keep my saddle pads that have sets, meaning they have polos and bonnets to match them. <coughs> oh and there's this one here that's fallen off. Okay so I just have to fix that saddle pad but yeah these are the ones with sets, bottom row, uh, like I kind of put them in a little bit of a colour coordination kind of, a little bit. So they have bonnets and polos to match, and so do these ones. Yeah. Then here I have my old helmets. I have this old velvet show helmet, which does not, you know, like able to ride in that one. It shows because it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have the st the standards changed and stuff. So this one's just kind of like a spare one, or a someone, you know, yeah, whatever. Then this is my old Onyx helmet, and yeah, I have some cones there. Here I have all my shipping boots, which is literally just two sets. So the purple ones are jet. Actually, where are my other shipping boots? Oh, there they are. Okay, so I have two sets of shipping boots here. These are the current ones I use for Jeff. These purple ones, like my socks. Yeah, my socks are stazzy. I know they're they're French fries. They're cool, and they're Super's ones there, like the ones I used when I had Super and did stuff with him. Um, I'll go through this little thing here. So this little moon crate, which I had in my old tax store, I have not opened this in ages, so I don't know what it is. Oh, hey. There you go. So it looks like I have a little phone holder thing there, some floppy things for your gum boots. That would be dad being on the side of the shed. Then I have these old, I mean these hoof oil container things, that purple one back there. There's a rat running around in here, I can see it. And then old chaps down there. Then up here we have like a <laughs> Bunnings chopping basket. Don't know how I got that, but anyway. So then I have my current helmet in there, which is a Zilco whatever eventing helmet thing. Sure. I'll just crack on the top of it. That's lovely. And then I have my spurs, which are these little nubby spurs. Um, I have some gloves that I don't know why they're in there. They're normally not kept in there. I have 
some neck ropes, a lunge line, and when I do into schools, my school colors, little helmet cover. And oh, I have this thing too, which I put my phone in sometimes when I ride. So then in this box here is where all my rugs are. So this is just a plastic rug thing. And I have my quarter sheet, which is new. I have a cotton, another cotton, a little fly mask. Then I have Super's old show rug. And I also have a, um, there's a Super's old hood. Then I've got a, what else is it under here? I've got um, a blue hood thing, which I use on Jep. Um, an extra saddle cover down there and somewhere else I have which down here somewhere I have this blue winter rug and down the very bottom is an old purple one which is also Jeps so I have a lot of rugs and that this one here I'm like saving for like shows and stuff because it's clean and brand new <laughs> so then I'll go around down here first and I'll go over my saddles so here is where I keep all my boots. I have some other um, shipping boots which I used to use on JEP. Then I have these quarter markers, so for like shows and stuff, you put it on their bums. I have an eventing number holder. Here are my, my show boots for show jumping, so they're the open front boots and fetlock boots. Then I have these, these white weather beater open front boots that I use on JEP sometimes, just for training. Then, here I have some black Roma ones in size full. Then I have some black Roma splint boots in size full. Size cob, I have some blue splint boots. I don't know what brand they are. Some um, pink. Sorry, my laptop, I mean my camera just ran out. So here I have, you can't really see as well now, but you can just live. So some Fetlock boots here. Then here I have some purple cob size open front boots. Actually, they were size full, but I trimmed them, so they're now cob. <laughs> then I have some cob sized fetlock boots. I have some um, cob um, bell boots with the fleece around them. Then I have some blue bell boots that were size full, but I <laughs> cut them and now they're size cob. And then I have some pink splint boots in size cob. Now along here, this is my bathing bucket. If you want to tour that, comment below, like the saddle pad tour, and I'll do a separate video for that so I don't get too into it. Same with my grooming box. I don't want to go through all that now. So comment a separate video for this. Here is my little show box. So I take this one as well as my grooming kit to shows, which has all my essentials in that. If you want to tour that, <laughs> again, comment below. And under that is some extra washing supplies. So if you want a tour on my saddle pad collection, my show box collection, my washi bucket and my um, grooming tote, just <laughs> comment below. Then in here I just have old rags and stuff which I use for cleaning tack. Here I have a little boot holder thing which I just have one pair of gum boots on. Now along here I have some shelves. So here I have some, this is what I keep my show sheen in. I don't know where the rest of my show sheen bottle is so I'm kind of worried. <laughs> But I have some show sheen in here, um, baby oil, which I use for shows, which is normally in my show tote. Don't know why it isn't at the moment. Some fly spray. I don't know what the heck's in this. <laughs> this is some equine spray and it treats like rain rot. An empty container um, spray bottle. Toothbrushes, which I use for cleaning bits. In here I have all my like tape measures and stuff to measuring jumps. Some... Um, disposable gloves, then I have a lick it treat bar under here, a worming thing which still has some in it, um, some vet wrap, then up here on my thing I have all my tack cleaning stuff if you want to tour on this, I don't know if that is that interesting but comment below. Then I have my drawers, so I have scissors and I don't know random stuff in here, torch, little bag things. Um, I have, oh, a little mouse. Did you want to see the mouse? Go mouse. There he goes. Anyway, um, then I have all these drink bottles I used to always use when I was riding. 
um, you attach them to the side of the saddle. Here I have like, mm, I don't know what you would call it, but I have my cable ties and scissors and um, hole punching things and crap. <laughs> oh, here I have like old stirrups and stuff, stirrup irons and quite feral. And here I have a bunch of spare bits and old bits that I have never used, <laughs> that I was given second hand. In here, I think I have some brow bands. Yeah, I have some brow bands in here. Not many. This drawer ain't gonna open, but there's not many of brow bands in there. I have most of them at home, like my show ones and stuff. I have some hay nets in here. Bottom drawer, I think, is empty. Nope, it has rope. Just rope. This is a rifle cabinet, which is not mine. Um, and I'll go to my saddles. So here I have my all-purpose saddle, which is next when it has my girth on it. I don't know what brand it is. So this is my all-purpose saddle. It's brown. I use it for show jumping because I have a dressage saddle. Um, I don't know what brand it is or anything. I have no idea. And I want a new saddle because I don't really like the look of that saddle and I want a black one to sit my other stuff and one that will fit Jeff better because this one doesn't fit her perfectly. It fits her all right, but not good enough for my liking. Here I have my Wintech dressage saddle, um, but it's so comfortable. I love Wintech saddles. They're definitely the best synthetic um, saddle brand. There is like, they're so comfortable. The gullet's changeable, so you can fit it to your horse and any horse. I like them way better than Kincaid and um, Status and what are the, whatever the other ones are. <laughs> oh, and also another good brand actually, it's Te Tecna. I like the Tecna brand for synthetic saddles. So here's my stock saddle. Again, I don't know what brand it is, don't ask me. <laughs> um, I don't know where the strips are on it. I don't know where they've gone. <laughs> anyway, so it's I got this one from my neighbor a while ago. So I use that when I do like my Western stuff, which I don't do very often when I do sporting and things. That's my stock. I don't have a proper cover for it, so I cover it over with a pink towel. And then my last one, which is not clean, so excuse it, but um, it is my Western saddle, which I have never used on Jep because it is huge. I have never really tried using it on Jep, but like it's pretty big. I don't think it will fit her. I will try and see if it does, but I doubt it will. Anyway, so I love this saddle so much. It's a bit dirty down the bottom. I don't want to show you. So, um, don't know the brand. Again, I'm useless. Sorry, but that's my Western saddle. And on top, I have my... Roma bareback pad, which I don't use ever on Jeff. I used that on Super and Slinky because they were bony thoroughbreds, but she does not need that because she's so comfortable. So here I have on my halters and leads, well, the ones that fit Jeff. Actually, that's a lie. I just realized I don't have everything here. I've packed some stuff away, which I don't use on Jeff, which is like the full-sized stuff. So there's a lot of halters and bits and pieces that I've packed away. But anyway, so here I have a pink lead rope and two pink halters, Roma and don't know the other brand. Here I have a blue halter. Here I have a black horseworks one with one of my favorite lead ropes with this kind of latch. Behind it, I have the same halter in brown, in black, and a rainbow lead rope. I have a leather halter with a nameplate, but unfortunately it's too big. <coughs> but unfortunately it's too big for Jep, which sucks so I have not used this at all yet then here I have my halter that I use when I take Jep's to shows because our show like her show colors and stuff like rugs and bits and pieces like that is purple and yellow like her boots match obviously so I have a purple and yellow lead rope and a purple fuzzy halter now along here along the bottom I have my hay bag my saddle racks which are hanging up at home but they're all here now and like my rug racks which i will show when like which i don't want to hang up here yet um this is where i keep my hay i don't have much hay at the moment because i'm trying to get rid of it before we move so it's not much left and dad just gave her hay before um i have two whips around here i have the pink lunge whip and then a black dressage whip which they've both fallen over and i'm not picking up because i'm lazy then i've got another um saddle rack my purple container which I normally use for water and stuff at shows. Here I have my 
bridal rack. So I've got a heap of spare reins hanging up here. There's training ones there. There's just webbed ones and you name it, it's there. Then here I have a standing martingale in size cob, which I've never used because I got it second hand, given it for free. Here I have a brown bridle, which I normally use for sporting. It's got no NAS band, <laughs> so I use it for sporting. Yes, I know. It's just because it's not one of my fancy English ones. Here I have another brown um, dressage. Um, dr yeah? Okay, one sec. Apparently Jeb's looking for me. I have a brown halter, I mean <laughs> bridle, and I use the French link snaffle. So, yep, there's that. There's another um, brow band here, which I'll put in my brow band drawer. So yeah, I used to use that one before I got this bridle, which is my Kincaid, I think it is, a Kincaid um, eventing bridle. And it is so nice. I love this bridle so much. It's really nice and padded and it's so supple. And again, there's the bit French link. So here I have so my full sized stuff because they're all cob. This is some two, like obviously Super's old halter, Slinky's old halter. I have, oh, these are like pony size leather halters. Next one I have this old, well, it's a cob sized bridle, but I never use it. Then I have a extended Baraku Western bridle there in size full. Down the bottom here, I have all my old girths that I don't or have never used. Again, some of them I was given for free. So I have a bunch of these like rope ones, which I've never used in my life. So many of them, they are on top of each other too. There's a heap of them there. Then I have this old brown one, which I never used. I was given for free. Black one here. I think it's Wintech, I don't know. But I have two of those, these ones. So I have that one for my show jumping saddle and stuff, and this one's for dressage. Um, I have a three buckle girth here and another brown girth there. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we <laughs> happy I finally did this video. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for my vlog. Bye! Oh, and no place to call home. My only friend was the man in the moon. And even sometimes he would go away too. Then one night as I closed my eyes, I saw a shadow flying high.